Like dissolves like is a phrase that chemists use to help us predict whether or not two substances can mix together or dissolve in each other. When we say like dissolves like, we just simply mean that two substances that are similar or two substances that are alike are capable of dissolving in each other or mixing together. And when we are comparing the similarity of the two molecules, we are specifically looking at the molecular structure, the intermolecular forces, and the polarity of the molecule. So for example, we know that if we have two nonpolar molecules and we try to mix the two nonpolar molecules together, so a nonpolar molecule plus another nonpolar molecule, because these two molecules have similar polarity, they have identical polarity, similar structures and similar intermolecular forces, these molecules will mix together or they will dissolve in each other. Likewise, if we have two polar molecules, we mix them together, a polar molecule with another polar, mo polar molecule. Again, because we have similar intermolecular forces, similar polarity, these molecules will also mix or dissolve. If we try to combine a nonpolar molecule with a polar molecule, because these two molecules have different intermolecular forces, they don't mix together they do not dissolve in each other. And a great example of this is oil and water. Oil is a nonpolar molecule, water is a, po a polar molecule, and they do not mix with each other. Um, now, one thing I want to add, hydrogen bonding is just, a, is just a type of polarity. So a molecule that has hydrogen bonds is a, considered a polar molecule. So we can see that if we combine um, Two molecules that are hydrogen bonding, they will mix. A molecule that has hydrogen bonds with a molecule that is polar, they will also mix as well. Again, because hydrogen bonds is just a kind of an extreme type of polarity. So here are a couple of examples of how we could apply the like dissolves like concept. Let's say that we have this molecule here, which is water, and we're trying to combine it with this molecule here. In order to determine if these two molecules will mix with each other, we need to simply identify whether each of these molecules is polar or nonpolar or have hydrogen bonds. The water molecule, because we have these OH groups in them, the water molecule has hydrogen bonds which means that it is a polar molecule. This molecule, which is called methane, these carbon-hydrogen bonds, all of these are non-polar bonds. The molecule doesn't have any lone pairs anywhere. There's nothing about this molecule that would make it polar. This is a non-polar molecule, and therefore these two substances don't mix together. They stay separated from each other. Second example down here, uh, we have, again, the water molecule. Water molecule has hydrogen bonds in it. And we're trying to mix it with this molecule here, which we can see also has hydrogen bonds. So this molecule also has hydrogen bonds. In addition to having hydrogen bonds, it is also polar because it has this polar carbon oxygen bond as well. Because we have two similar or identical intermolecular forces, these two molecules do mix together.